Hello, Raw folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Raw news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is set to have another conversation about his memoir, Spare. And this time, he will be joined by renowned Canadian physician, author and trauma expert, Gabor Matti. The two will have an intimate conversation that will be live-streamed for the public on the March the 4th, from an undisclosed location. The event will last for an hour and people can purchase tickets and submit questions for the prince to answer. Matei is a best-selling author and a well-known addiction expert, having written extensively about childhood development, the physical and mental impacts of stress, ADHD and addiction. His recently published book, The Myth of Normal, Trauma, Illness and Healing in a Toxic Culture has received critical acclaim. The conversation between Harry and Matei will focus on the difficulties of living with loss and the importance of personal healing, according to Vanity Fair. The interview will also explore Matei's expertise in addiction and trauma. There are two ticket pricing options for the event. The first is $45.38, which includes a copy of Spare. And the second is $82.82, which includes both Spare and Matei's latest book. Those who purchase tickets before March the 1st will have chance to have their submitted questions asked during the live stream. Matei tweeted about the event last week, encouraging people to buy tickets and participate. He is considered one of the world's leading voices, advocating for alternative addiction treatment, and has been a long-time supporter of the decriminalization of drugs. However, this promotion of the Amazonian plant Ayahuasca to treat mental illness landed him in hot water in 2011. Health Canada officials threatened to have him arrested if he didn't stop using the drug to treat his patients. Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, was an instant bestseller around the world when it was released last month. It captured the number one position of the New York Times hardcover non-fiction bestseller list for six consecutive weeks and sold over 1.4 million units of the English language copy on the first day it was available, making it the fast-selling non-fiction book of all time. In his interviews promoting the book, Harry was open and honest about his mental health journey and the struggles he faced as a member of the British royal family. He also revealed intimate details about his relationship with his family, including accusing members of getting into bed with the devil to gain favourable tabloid coverage, claiming his stepmother Camilla has leaked private conversations to the media and stating that his family was complicit in his wife Meghan's pain and suffering. While some applauded Harry for his honesty and willingness to expose the toxic relationship between the Buckingham Palace and the UK's tabloid media, others were critical of his decision to publish such intimate and, at times, unflattering details of life inside the royal. Many have also pointed out that airing his family's dirty laundry in such public manners might damage his efforts to salvage his relationship with his brother and father, King Charles III. Nevertheless, Prince Harry remains committed to using his experiences to make positive differences in the lives of others. He said, My hope has been to turn my pain into purpose. So if sharing my experience makes a positive difference in someone's life, well, I can't think of anything more rewarding than that. This book and its truths are in many ways a continuation of my own mental health journey. It's a raw account of my life, the good, the bad and everything in between. So what do you think about this news guys? Please show your thoughts in the comments and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.